A great man once said, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Oh, wait. Wrong franchise. Um, okay. A great man once said... Ah. Uh, would, would it be a great man was once asked what is best in life? Ah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> the answer being to crush your enemies, to see them driven before you, and to hit the lamentations of their women. Ah. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> so, uh, Conan the Barbarian, uh, a film that Micah has said, no matter what, whenever will, it's on, he if it's will on, stop and I will, watch it. I will it. watch it. I will have it on. If I'm, It will be on in the background, no matter what. <laughs> Hello, TV. You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. <clears throat> so, Conan the Barbarian, a 1982 film starring uh, the brawny man, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, debuted in theaters and thus made everyone just go, holy crap, this guy's a terrible actor, but he looks good doing it. But I freaking love those movies. <laughs> As Doug Walker once said, he's a terrible actor, but by God is he trying. <laughs> but I, I love, I love the Conan movies. Uh, I even like the Jason Momoa one that they did mm -hmm. recently. I, yeah, I did enjoy it. It did get a lot of love, but. I thought I thought there was a lot in there that they could do a lot of good with. It's just once it, you know who directed that, the same guy that directed, uh, same guy that directed, I believe the uh, uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Okay, Marcus Nispel, I believe is his name, and I mean, he is terrible. I'll He's say, a terrible like, director. Overall feel, I mean, I feel like the Momoa version was closer to a lot of Howard stuff more so than. Uh... The Schwarzenegger versions. Well, the Schwarzenegger ones, they just adapted it to Arnold. Right. I mean, if there was anyone physically who could portray Conan the Barbarian, it, it'd be probably Arnold. Right now, you know who I think could do a good job portraying him? Uh, the Mountain from Game of Thrones, uh, uh, Hopthor uh, Bjornsson. As Conan? Yes. Because mm. he is... No, because Hopthor is six foot eight, six foot nine, and weighs about 415 pounds. And is... A giant. Of Anybody a man. looks like a barbarian. It's that guy. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Conan. He is strong, stronger than most people he comes across. But even in all the novel or all the stories and stuff, he was like, he's he's fast because he was well, described. So's, well, so's Thor. I mean, you should see him run. Oh well, the guy is like, okay, okay. You know who I think can play him, even though I don't personally like the guy, uh, Brock Lesnar. See, I feel like those guys are too too big because it was like the way Conan was described in one of the stories is like him against anybody else would be like watching a trained boxer trying to fight a panther. It was just like his agility was a completely different level. Oh, so he was okay. he was imposing. So, so I I read so in he'd one probably of, be more like a light heavyweight than like a heavyweight. Fighter. Well, so from what uh, there was actually one thing I read one time where he actually like. Um, I mean, he, his, was, like, he, he a was gigantic, like he, like he was absolute giant human. Like I mean, a woman was, tried to reach around him to embrace him, and her arms couldn't couldn't reach around. Him I mean, yeah, he he was a big dude, but I always imagine him being like, as far as build, being like, you know, leaner than like these really he, he, more Jason thick Momoa guys, than yeah. more Jason Momoa than Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, that's how I was kind of pictured him. I mean, because, you know, he's... I mean, Jason Moe is a, a big dude. Well, I mean, yeah, he's big. He's tall, but he's a lean... Yeah. He's a lean kind of muscular. He's not... He's not the big bloated bodybuilder. He's he's in shape, and he can... Like, he used to be... A, he was actually on route to be a, a pro football player no. before he injured himself and uh, became, a, you know, became an actor, which... Of course, I mean, people could disagree with me. I mean, but it just seemed like in the stories, Conan was always something that was like pulled out of the wild. Um, Fair enough. Fair. Enough. I, I, I've just read. I've just read different things. I, it, it. I may know. be wrong. I mean, I mean you're he, more but, versed on it than I am. But he was freakishly strong. I mean, you look at a bodybuilder versus a chimpanzee. I mean, Ugh, you know, God, a chimp would just destroy a bodybuilder. So I mean, you know, so that's kind of like it was almost like him as a, a Sumerian, the Northman in that universe was just. They were almost like a, almost like a different species, almost like a subspecies of men that were just you know, out of the wild and stronger and faster and everything. Okay. You know, because I see him being able to like easily like climb a tree quickly yeah. and 
I think of like the mountain trying to climb a tree. I'm like, I feel like he could Fair climb enough. a tree, but yeah. I don't know how fast he. No, he, you know what he'd do? He'd bend the tree down, right, set yeah. himself up in it, and then and then lift <laughs> himself off the ground. <laughs> I could see him <laughs> doing that. He'd probably just be. He'd probably just like, well, let me get this. <laughs> he'd probably put his wife up there too. His wife was <laughs> hilariously small. Like the the mountain, he's 415 pounds. His wife, if she's lucky, weighs 110, 115 pounds. Bless her heart. I know, right? <laughs> That's what blows me away. I see her, and I'm just like, oh, he brought his daughter to work. No. That's his wife? Jesus Christ. But, okay, we've we've ranted and raved and gone on enough. Uh, John Trump did a uh, Conan the Barbarian video. Let's see what, uh, let's, let's, let's see what happens. Let's see what... Let's see what this contains. <laughs> Between the time of the space invaders and the dawn of the land of Hyrule, there was an age undreamed of. Huh? And unto this, Chantron, destined to play the games that no one else wants to. It is I. The guy that saw some of this and heard the rest through hearsay, who alone can tell thee of his saga. Let me tell you of the days of high adventure. Is this what you hear while you're making what stuff in your in, in your in your black I, I wish. She's been driven before you, and you'll hear the lamentation of the women. Wow. <laughs> Same day at the beach, but what did you say? Something about maiming? Jesus Christ. Conan, the Barbarian, originally portrayed by Arnold Schwarzenegger. This guy doesn't take shit from no one. You kill his entire family, he comes back 20 years later and beheads you in front of your entire snake cult. Yep. And becomes the governor of the state of California. <laughs> fucking metal as fuck, dude. Let's hope he spared his games of the same gory fate. Let's have a look at some of the older titles first, like Conan, Hall of Volta on the Commodore 64. They should have everything I could possibly ask for in a game like this. Swordplay, ceaseless adventure. What better place to experience it than here in the basement? The birthplace of fantasy. This is true. Well, that's a bit of a tonal shift, but this is from the 80s, so I'll let it slide. Conan, presented by a bunch of white guys named Eric. Sounds about right. Hall of Volta, by the way, not a real place. I checked. Before the game starts, it shows you a cast of characters. As you can see here, we have Conan and Volta. I'm glad, because otherwise the title of this game would be very misleading. Oh, look! An avian ally! Now this is my kind of game right here! Very close to home. <laughs> Chuck, come here, you gotta see this! Oh no, I think I left him upstairs. I turned off his alarm, right? Hey John, it's me, I brought your life-saving medicine! Care, 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 care. Oh, my dying of lasers. Nah, it's probably nothing. We got an object list, too. Locked door. Not so much an object as it is an idea of objects working in tandem. Extra sword? Can there be an extra sword if there's just no sword at all here? This game is pretty much like every Commodore 64 game. Primitive and clunky. Whoa, hold on. Boomerang sword? Was that boomerang sword? Well, that sets it apart. That's a whole different class of epic. <laughs> Yeah. The game is to traverse the stage and get to this little object up here. What do you think this thing is? I don't know, do you know? All I know it's is... It's an arrow pointing to the next level. I want to get to it. In that way, I suppose it has a very strange power over me. <coughs> so trivial yet. So alluring. Look like a goddamned piece of sharp cheddar. I want it so bad. It's not bad for a C64 game, but goddamn if it isn't hard as Conan's pecs. I have to get past this bad enemy, but he's just so hard to pin down. Come on, get down already, come on! Wow. Wow. Damn. Well, just it's a good throw thing that in just let me die in peace or anything. I fucking disintegrate and it tells me my struggles were in vain. Not just this struggle. All my struggles. You know, some of us do this for enjoyment, alright? This is our escape. Who wrote this game, Nietzsche? Every time you die, it gives you one of these day-brightening tidbits. Blech. A watery barrier. Oh yeah, I can see that. You know, you could have told me that a second ago. Bye. You beat a heated retreat? And this game I shall not complete! Uh, okay. Let's take a look next at 
Conan Sumerian for the MS DOS. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm here for. Decapitations and barbarism. Okay, all right, not, not, not so much here for the long scrolls with flesh-colored ink, but hey, we got one out of two, we're doing all right. Uh, excuse me, is this Conan or is this SimCity? <laughs> oh, it's two out of three, we're in the black. <laughs> oh, good morning, madame. You are looking full and robust today. You are blossoming like the most beautiful flower in all of Samaria. Oh yeah, one more thing, your tits are fucking fantastic. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god, where did that come from? Conan's all like, was that a lightning mage? Did a, did a lightning mage just zap my wife? <laughs> this game's one of those old adventure RPGs. Turns around just like, Crap, like what the hell was that? Towns in various locations, talk to the local populace, and get immersed in the world. One of my favorite things about this kind of game is the open-ended gameplay. It's so different from a book or a film because you really get to strike out and make your own story. I think Conan's feeling real bad today. Attack! Conan decides not to attack the merchant. Aww. Conan also decided to file his taxes quarterly to avoid overages and remain cash solvent. What is this? Conan decided not to attack the merchant. Get out of here! I'm Conan! I'm a barbarian! It's in the title! It's in the title! I get to decide who gets attacked and who gets conversed with, alright? Let me, let me tell you how you know you're playing a Conan game. They spent more time drawing his pecs than his face. Seriously! He's got no face! Ah, my first fight! Disturbing. Final. Time to put the B in Barbarian, you know what I'm saying? Not while under attack. When exactly is a better time to click the enemy with my sword than when he's attacking me? Forgive my ignorance, but I wasn't aware there was a better time. Oh, of course! Sword is for rug! Sword is not for enemy, it is for rug. No one in this world can you trust, Conan. Not men, not women. Not beasts, but this. This you can trust. But only for rugs. Only for rugs and shit, seriously. <laughs> oh, I found my favorite room! It's the one where you can't fucking see! Well, at least someone had the decency to stick a chimera down here with me, honestly. What do I do? Use sword. This weapon is already in use. Oh. I can guarantee you with 100% certainty. This item is not already in use. All right, uh, how about a swing, chop? Conan does not know that attack. God damn it! Listen to me, my dimension. What is going on? My mother knows that attack. It's like 80% gravity. Gravity does most of the job. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm god. I'm goddamn stuck. Can't move. I can't attack people. I can't use my sword. All I can do damn. is touch rug and walk around and get fucking stuck. Oh, look at that leprous peasant. Well, she's moving right along. She's having more fun than me in this fucking game. All right, last on the list, Conan for NES. Please let this version be good. How could they, how, how could they fuck this one up? It's, it's Conan for the NES. So this game's purpose is very simple. You go around kicking skeletons in the dick. <laughs> the sad thing is that actually makes more sense than the controls of this game. So get this, you're going around and you realize these fists won't be enough. So you gotta go around picking up weapons that fall out of the enemies, which are constantly respawning, by the way. What's this? You can't walk over the weapon to pick it up? A doesn't work. B doesn't work. How do you pick up the item? Oh, of course, it's A and down. And by, and by that I mean A slightly before you push down. Because if you accidentally push down first, you'll jump into whatever hellfire pits in front of you. Because did I mention it down also fucking long jumps? Who did it? What? Why'd they do it? Can I? F Are they still alive? Can I find them? We're gonna go. We're gonna go find them. That I sounds didn't terrible. Begin to fathom why they would make down jump when up also jumps, especially in a game when you need to push down very quickly in a storm of never-ending butt-feasting gremlin skeletons <laughs> to get the item that only falls from the teleporting purple Satan demon that only spawns when you cut down the one random skeleton hanging from the ceiling that is the only item that can kill the boss that kills you in one hit unless you have that item and you would never know it unless you read it on the internet that doesn't exist when this game came out. How Holy shit! And it turns Where's out this the title isn't even really a Conan game. It's another game from the C64 called Myth: History in the Making, which is notable for its sweet musics. John, you're you're getting a little too sexual with that sword. Hey guys, I think you gotta spread the music out a bit. Ah, but you'll be glad to know that this game sticks with the main huh? motif that Conan does: punching skeletons in the dick. Why would they bother porting a C64 game to the NES? NES was capable of so much more. I think the saddest thing here is that the Commodore version is so much better. 
I have never prayed to you before. I do not have the tongue for it. No one will remember, not even you, what games were played, what systems they were on, which ones were written by two Eric's. All that matters is that one man played many, many terrible Conan games. So grant me one request. Grant me one good game. And if you do not listen, oh, come on, man, it's frickin' rude. <laughs> and to hell with you. Yeah, to hell with you. Ah, yes. That one was actually pretty damn badass. Yeah, it was like God of War uh, with Conan, with yeah. Conan skin. This is your horse ranch up there. I don't know what it is. This is scary. What? If you want to stay up to date on John's Ron, don't forget to follow my official Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you haven't seen all my videos, you can click these annotations to see some of the old ones. Don't forget to stop by normal books. Conan Exiles? It's the one where you spawn pretty much on a cross, butt naked in the middle of a desert. No, you were on a beach at the beginning of the one I played. Oh. Uh, I'm pretty sure. So like the, it was like Hyperborean something? Hyperborean Tales? Something it? like that, yeah. yeah. Well, right. Conan, Conan Exiles was one that I played, and it was... Uh, it had a very specific feature to <laughs> the, it. The dong slider? Yeah. Well, not only that, but also yeah, the, the tits. A the of Conan Hyperborean Adventures. Yeah, and then there was also the, the, the tits slider as well, uh -huh. where you could actually increase the, the bosom... Yeah. You know, of your not female be that barbarian. Of an MMO, and one of the selling points is like, if you're a chick, you can actually take the titties out. <laughs> but, <laughs> barbarians, man. Yeah. Hey, man, they do what they want. Well, I played <coughs> a little bit of it when it came out, and it was mildly entertaining. But they were like, yeah, there's no in-game content, and like nothing really changed up in the gameplay very often. And I was like, I don't see myself getting to max level doing this crap over and over again well would not be anything fun to do at that point pretty much what they tried to do is make Ark Survival Evolved with a Conan skin and it didn't work and it was that before it, Ark was even out so well it, it was in early access Ark uh, like Ark was uh, or no, are you talking about the Conan game that you're talking about yeah. oh I was talking about Conan Exiles I was talking about Conan Exiles mm. Conan yeah, Conan Exiles, it was not a, like, it, there was actually one thing about Conan Exiles that was actually pretty damn cool, was that you could actually go up to the altars, and you could sacrifice stuff to the altars, and you actually had the option to turn into, like, a giant, like, one of the giant mythical beasts. Like, you could actually turn yourself into a gigantic bronze statue and just wreck shit. I, I loved that. I thought that was awesome. But, yeah, from what I understand, they're pretty much going to shut it down after a little while. Huh. <coughs> For some reason, I was thinking they closed the servers on Age of Conan, but the site is still up saying it's free to play. It's called Age of Conan Unchained now, apparently. I mean, I feel like the that world would be a good premise for some games. I just feel like it's got to be done right. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd like for a good studio to get a hold of the Conan license and actually do some good stuff with it, but, you know, hey, wishing one hand shit in the other, see which one fills up first. Yeah, in that same vein, like, the the Mars series by Edgar Rice Burroughs is really cool, but, like, John Carter didn't really go anywhere. Nope. I mean, because I think that would be a fun one, too. I well, don't think that gets enough John credit. Carter's actually getting a little bit of a cult status right now. A lot of people are actually going back to it and just being like, this isn't that bad. Um, <clears throat> but there's actually, um, you know who I'd like for them to get a hold of the Conan license? The guys who made the new God of War? Yes, Cory Barlog. I'd love to see Cory Barlog make a Conan the Barbarian game. I mean, you could, like, all, all the old short stories, like, those could be easily separate missions, I mean, in, like, a big open world. Like, that would be awesome. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I love that. There's a lot of scary crap in there that, like, they never put in the movies. That's just like there's this one thing he fights. It's like a, it's the last surviving thing of this species. That basically um, Howard describes it as like a, a big, p 
pitch black chimp with red eyes and wings. Oh my god, that's terrifying. so it's like take like you well, know to you that's flying, one of the most terrifying like, things like, ever because like you fly, made chimps. like flying monkeys, but like you know instead of the weird creepy, it's just like ultra creepy. Yeah, it's just like boss mode. Like it's like, you rip it's, your like face off. it's like Nosferatu Z from friggin' uh, uh, from uh, Berserker. It was uh, or it was, from Berserk. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Or no, Sparatu Zod. That's his name. Oh, that. Oh, the the Guardian Eight. Yeah. I hate. Oh, that yeah, he was thing. talking about that. The double where the second one came in. Yeah. yeah. After you cut its head off with the sword that jabs through its neck, it respawns, picks its head up, and proceeds to just like go, for lack of a better term, ape shit. Yeah, and then you kill it, and then you go. You're walking through a cave, and then you see this thing standing against the wall, and you're like. <laughs> sure enough, it turns around and it's the fucking ape again. You're like, no. Uh-uh. You're like, ah, oh, why won't you die? And then you get its first health score. First health score, <coughs> it yells and its friend comes in, and you're just like, fuck my entire fucking life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, actually, I found out that you can come back later and it's still not entirely dead. It's still laying on the ground, but you can actually finish it off and finally kill the uh, giant centipede that comes out of its neck. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> keeping it alive. Yeah, it was actually like a, a, a centipede that was mo- that was doing its entire body the entire time. Yeah, there's some... this thing called the worm that keeps infecting people and things in Sekiro that basically gives them immortality where they won't die when they're infected with it, but there's a mortal blade that can kill them and finally end their lives. Hmm. And then, I, I know there's actually one... There's actually uh, one... Uh, it's, it's actually a hook spear. You can actually, whenever yeah, the monkey... When, uh, when the monkey goes down, like, uh, he has one attack where he does, like, a real long wind-up, and if you perfect deflect it, he'll trip and fall over. You can stab the spear into his neck hole and pull the centipede out for a second. Nice. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. It's, it's, it's that's disgusting like a, re- that's only a Resident Evil 4 crap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It pretty much is. <coughs> Except Sekiro is... <coughs> Super hard. <coughs> is a lot harder. It is a lot harder than Resident Evil 4. So yeah, I had some trouble back when I originally played Resident Evil 4, but nothing compared to that game. Oh, dude. How many times did it take you to beat the final boss? What, 50? Like 50 some. Over 50 tries on the I final boss. I stopped counting at 20, and I had to try at least probably 30 some more times before I beat him. I don't know if I would be into a game to try that much. It takes patience. Yes. Patience yeah, it does. Persistence. The thing is, is you feel yourself slowly getting better each time you try. So hey. You know eventually you'll be able to do it. Because there was a point, like, you know, I was about to at some point be like, I think I'm going to quit tonight because I don't feel like I'm getting any better at this fight. But then there was a point where I had a really good run on him and I'm like, okay, I know I can beat him now. It's just, it's going to take, you know, several more tries, but I know I can kill this guy. Yeah. And I finally got him. And like, when I finally got him, like, I got him. Like, I fucked him up in his last phase and everything. Nice. <laughs> it was pretty cool. But like, playing through it again, like the beginning of the game where I, it took me like three hours just to get to the first boss and I died quite a few times. Like, I only died, uh, I think, two or three times. And uh, it was, like, much easier. Like, I wasn't scared of, like, the little enemies anymore that were, like, right. making me be like, so, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, 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 I don't want that. It's just when you first play it, it's got a huge learning curve. But it's also got a high skill ceiling. So the more you play it, the better it is, like, for you. Like, right. At least for us, less frustrating. Yeah. It may. But the first time through, you're just like, I hate <laughs> yeah, but you but you love that game. Yeah, yeah, like it love hate relationship. It's like it's like buggy Skyrim. You love it, but then a bug pretty much appears, and you're just like, oh, so I'm stuck in this mission forever now. I've been stuck in a lot of rocks. Yep. Yeah. So and you're just like by any chance on PlayStation 3, <coughs> uh, when they did the one update that made the backwards flying invincible dragons for a few years. Nope, I never saw that. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. That sounds terrible. Yeah, like, I just log in, and I'm like, why is the dragon flying backwards? I'm like, oh, God, that dragon is glitching the hell out. And I found out quickly, I was like, I'm just going to fast travel out of here, you know, because I can't hit it. And uh, I found out that all the dragons were doing that after a minute. And I was wow. like, well, that's not good. So I decided to try to kill one, and I managed to, like, with magic and stuff, because you couldn't get them to land. Either mm-hmm. They wouldn't land, do their land animation after a certain amount. They would, would constantly in the air, going backwards, shooting the <laughs> And uh, I got its health down, and like you know, its health was at zero. And it just wouldn't, wouldn't die. No, no, no. Like, oh, There's also no kill animation. Yeah, so there you go. 
Jeez. Sometimes <laughs> ports go terribly wrong, and that is an example of the one of one of the times yeah. it does go wrong. PlayStation Three Skyrim had a bunch of problems at different points of time for its lifetime. Yeah, and it's pretty well working at the moment, as far as I know. Like they finally kind of fixed all of it. But well, I, they also had an update that if you moved your camera under the water while you were in third person, it would crash the game. So that was a fun one too. You had to be in first person to go into water, or you just not hmm. go in water while that update was. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I missed all that. I was pretty late to the game. But you love that game. Oh yeah, I love it. It, it you'd say it's probably your favorite one of your favorite games of all time. I'd say it's the most most I've ever played anything. Damn. Yeah. Well, I've I've recommended Micah play uh the new God of War because well, number one, Norse mythology. Number two, Christopher Judge is <laughs> the main as the as Kratos. I mean, yeah. And uh and also and also it's just very satisfying too, it like is. When you chopping into dudes with your axe and stuff. Right. It's like, for some reason, they make you feel that. Like, you're just like, ooh, you know. It's, it's, it's not like uh, the original God of War where you're kind of just like, right. you're just kind of slapping at dudes. I mean, like, what is best in life? You feel like chunky, like barbarian-like slash To crush your enemies. <laughs> See them trouble beneath you and hear the lamentations of their... Well, there's really only one... Actually... No, there are. There, no, I forget. I know there's one woman like you come across in the game a lot, but I don't know if there's any other women like in the world. You're talking about God of, God of War. Yeah. You're talking about like what Freya? The new God of War. Yeah, Freya. <coughs> <coughs> the I witch in the they, woods. Uh, left out the. Uh, um, well, there was Faye, but she's dead by the time the game begins. Award, the uh, tradition of the sex mini games and such. Like yeah. Oh God, <laughs> I remember those. I was just like, I, I I remember playing those as a kid. Like, okay, when the first God of War came out, I was, God, how old was I? I need to know how old I was because. <laughs> well, the first God of War was on PlayStation Three, so. No, it was on PlayStation Two. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. 2005. 2005. So, I was about to graduate high school. Yeah. And, uh, I remembered when I was playing it, I had the, I had it full blast down in my room in my basement. And then all of a sudden, the sex mini game came up. It's just like, you're leaving us so soon? Come back to bed. And I'm like, Okay. And then all of a sudden, the grunting... St- I actually failed the failed it the first time because I had to turn down the volume on my, on my TV. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> I remember, like, I was in high school as well, but I was like, if my parents see this, they'll be like, what the heck are you playing? Yeah. So, like, I was like, yeah, I knew that part was coming up. I was like, this is probably that part because I'd read about it in Game Informer or whatever. Yeah. So, I was like... Well, and then God of, God of War 2, and then God of War 2. It was in all of the original the original trilogy. I remember the third one was absolutely hilarious because there it was, was some straight up NPCs and enemies with just their tits hanging out in those games too. Well, yeah, I mean, well, the there was the one that was a uh, all the Medusas were were naked, and then also <coughs> one of the daughters of Neptune that you had to sacrifice. You actually put her in a cage and you throw her into this thing to be sacrificed, and her blood opens the door. It's like, oh, damn. It was like one of the NPCs that was like helping you. Oh yeah, that was the uh, that was the the oracle in the first game. Yeah, I think so. You saved her from falling, and uh, like there was nothing left to the imagination because her shirt was completely see through. And uh, but in the third game, the section of the game was hilarious because it was with Aphrodite of all uh, the goddess, and uh, all of a sudden these two girls that Aphrodite were messing around with go off to the side, and you're not seeing anything that's happening between Aphrodite and Kratos. But you're seeing these two girls, like, it's like, oh my goodness, this is definitely not a scene for children. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, damn. I think I, one of them says something at some point, like, what technique or something like that? It's like, <laughs> he is truly blessed by the gods. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you for stroking my ego there, Stig Asmussen. <laughs> Which, that guy that directed God of War 3... 
uh, is actually the same guy who is directing uh, the new Star Wars single player game. So, hmm. <coughs> wouldn't it be hilarious if, like, all of a sudden you break down a wall and then there's a sex video game? <laughs> a Star Wars game. <laughs> That'd like, be, that would be too, weird. That'd be too much. That'd be too much. But still, I can I can think about it and laugh. Oh God! All right. Well, It'd be cool if you did like a little hidden Easter egg though. Like if there was like a, you, you come across like a couple of weird little lightsaber hilts, you know, and it's like, what are these? And like you turn them on and they take the shape of like the blade of chaos. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be cool. I like that. Or or lightsabers attached by chains from your wrists. And you're just like. Vroom, 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 vroom. Right. That'd be crazy. It's just like a goofy, like, second playthrough thing or something. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd like that. But, alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end this here. This was Conan the Barbarian uh, by John Tron. If you want to see the original video, link is in the description down below. Check out John Tron. He's got over 5 million subs, and he's a very, very funny guy. And uh, I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. Micah. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.